Should same-sex marriage be legal in Kentucky? Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. First at four, the U.S. Supreme Court is getting ready to tackle that hot-button issue next week. Several Kentuckians are already on their way to Washington, D.C. for the arguments. Many legal experts predict several state bans will be overturned. Washington Bureau Chief Jacqueline Policastro has more on the case before the highest court. The Supreme Court will hear arguments involving same-sex marriage bans from four states, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Michigan. Supporters and protesters from across the country are traveling to Washington ahead of the hearing. Oh. Passions are running high as the Supreme Court takes up the issue of marriage equality. The final decision will be named after the Ohio lawsuit, the first to reach the justices, Obergefell versus Hodges. Jim Obergefell wants his legal Maryland marriage to be recognized on his husband's Ohio death certificate. It's my way to live up to the promises I made to him over time. And you know, when we said I do, there are promises that are built into that. In Kentucky, Greg Burke and Michael DeLeon are asking for their legal Canadian marriage recognized and for both men to be the legal parents of their two adopted children. You know, it's the Supreme Court so they can you know, they can do what they want. Last year, in a tear-filled announcement, Kentucky's attorney general said he wouldn't defend the state's ban on gay marriage. Kentucky hired outside counsel to argue before the Supreme Court. So I had to make a decision I could be proud of. For me now? And for my daughter's judgment in the future. In Tennessee, Valeria Tanko and Sophie Jesty have a child together and want recognition of their legal New York wedding. One of the main reasons, other than the legal recognition of our own family, was to help those people that don't have the ability to represent themselves. And in Michigan, April DeBoer and Jane Rouse are fighting against Michigan's ban on adoptions by same sex couples. They want to jointly adopt the three children they're raising together. This case is about the protection of our children. It is not about the individuals. It's not about her and our, my relationship. This is about ensuring that our children will remain together no matter what happens to her and I. The Supreme Court will first consider whether states have the obligation to perform same-sex marriages. Then the court will hear arguments as to whether states are obligated to recognize same-sex marriages performed in other states. A decision can be handed down at any time after the hearing, but is expected at the end of the court's term in June or early July. Reporting at the Supreme Court, I'm Jacqueline Policastro. And we will have more coverage from Jacqueline in our Washington Bureau in the coming days.